Well, as we age, our memory doesn't perform quite as well as it used to, but there are a few things that you can do to help out. Tina is standing by with how you can sharpen your memory. Hi, T. I guess I'll take notes, too. Yeah, me, too. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Dr. Deb Matthew, America's happy hormones doctor, is here with us. Hi, Dr. Deb. How are you? I'm good. Have you ever walked in the room and forgotten why you're there? Every day. All of us. Every all day. All of us. You know what? We're doing like a billion tasks in the house, and I walk to the kitchen. Okay, wait a minute. Now, what did I come in here for? Yes. Yes. Let me just keep walking around the <laughs> island. All right. So the, you got some tips for um, our sharp memory. Keep our memory sharp, right? The first one is actually really exciting. A brand new study just published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that when people walked 10,000 steps a day, mm -hmm. they cut their risk for dementia by 51%, which wow. is astounding. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Well, you know, most of us have watches and, and phones and gadgets that can count our steps. Yeah. And we all know we're supposed to be walking more, right? Right. <laughs> but knowing that it could cut your risk in, for dementia by half is a really motivating factor for yeah. us to lace up our sneakers and get moving. Yes, yes. The second step is to eat more leafy greens. Now, um, in a study, the people who ate the most leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale scored so much better on memory tests. It was as though their brains were 11 years younger. Wow. And the good news okay. is they weren't actually eating that much. On average, it was about one cup of raw or half a cup of cooked greens, which actually sounds kind of doable. Okay, yeah. When you see it like Wait, that and you yeah. break it down like that. Can that's... you show that again? Yeah, so it's about one cup of raw or half a cup of cooked, which, you know, that's not actually so much. That's not too much. Okay, okay. Okay. Next up is not surprising. It's eat more fish. We know that fish is brain food. It's rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Those are the building blocks for our brain. And a study showed that when people ate four servings of fish a week on their memory scores, it was as though their brain was four years younger. Okay. Not all of us love to cook fish, but canned fish is actually okay. Canned salmon and sardines and tuna. All right. Everybody loves sardines. Do you like sardines? No, one of our coworkers eats them often. <laughs> Tracy Humphrey. Yeah. 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 And we do have to be careful with the mercury in tuna. Yeah, but okay. sometimes canned fish is more affordable, more accessible. Yes. And it still works. Yes, yes. Okay. Next up, we've got blueberries. Ooh, A we all love blueberries. That when women ate two half cup servings of blueberries a week, it was as though their brain was two and a half years younger. And blueberries are rich are anthocyanidins, which are um, antioxidants that are really protective for our brain cells. All right, very good. Oh, Hulisa's requesting you say antioxidants like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> antioxidants. <laughs> okay, okay you have one more tip. Yes, we saved the best one for last, yes. and that's eat more chocolate. Hello. But before you go diving into your kids' Halloween candies, the truth of the matter is it has to be dark chocolate, at least 70% dark, because sadly, milk chocolate is just candy. But when you eat dark chocolate, 30 minutes later, you get a boost in gamma waves, and these are the brain waves that are really important for memory. And one ounce of chocolate is all it takes, and that's about three squares of this size, which is actually a pretty decent How amount. Often? An hour? Um, Tina. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but you can actually have your chocolate and eat it too, as long as it's dark Did you chocolate. say a day or a week? A day. You oh, can perfect. have dark chocolate a day if you like. Yes, it's good perfect. For you. Perfect. Chocolate, blueberries, some greens. I'm good. We love it. We love yeah. that. We love the last three. All right, Dr. Deb Matthew, if people want more information, what's your website? DrDebMD.com. Perfect. It's nice to talk to you. Thank you so much. All right, there Thanks. you go. I liked seeing the serving sizes that she yes. had, like when she held them up, because then it doesn't look so intimidating, right? right? I'm like, oh, I could yeah, do like you a know, salad. When people, yeah, when, salad is. when you always hear doctors say, oh, you need four or five servings a day of right. yeah. it's like the, yeah. I can't go buy a bag of frozen vegetables and eat that whole thing, <laughs> right? Right. Because right. you know, I eat smaller now. Well, some yes. things. Yeah, you do. All right, there you go. Cool. All right, <laughs> good stuff. All right, let's.